How's it going guys? It's Poetry Sud and welcome back to another episode of the EU4 Ireland campaign, a luck of the Irish campaign. Uh, this is my first time recording since the first session, the first five episodes. Uh, sorry about the lack of a video yesterday from when you guys are seeing this, um, which is actually today. I'm recording it today so I can post it tomorrow, which is today when you're watching it. You know what I mean. Anyways, uh, but yeah, thanks for all the support on the series so far. There's been a lot of comments, a lot of really helpful comments and stuff. And a lot of support for the series in general, and that's always really, really awesome. Um, and it makes me want to play even more, you know, than I already do. <laughs> so anyways, uh, welcome back. Yeah, what was going on? Uh, we just gotten out of our war with Scotland, I believe, right? Yeah, we're halfway done with our cores, basically. Uh, a little more on Ayrshire. Um, and uh, also, someone actually commented with some pronunciations, actually, uh, to help me out for Irish names. Um, and uh, thank you for that. Um, although I, I do realize as well that, uh, like you said, that it <clears throat> may vary based on what part of Ireland you're from or whatnot. But I'll try to at least uh, go by some of that advice. Either way, let's just go ahead and unpause, go on speed three for a bit while we get reacquainted with ourselves, uh, with ourselves, uh, with our reacquaint ourselves with the game. Um, so right now we are. Uh, Recovering, I think we want to. We have a claim on Fife. We want to get a claim on Lothian. I don't think we really care to get one on Orkney or Shetland. Like you know, I mean, it's it'd be helpful. It's obviously not bad, but it's so little development compared to like Lothian. Uh, so we want to get a. We have a claim on Fife already that lasts until well past the truce ending, uh, and we have we do not have a claim here. So we're gonna wait till we get a claim on that, and that'll be all we do for the uh, spy network with Scotland for now. I'm pretty sure. Because we need to have other stuff to do with our um, with our diplomats. Uh, for instance, for instance, also wait, when can we upgrade? We're in earldom. Okay, which is just a normal feudal monarchy. Uh, oh, what is what with the loans uh, or the whatever? How many loans do we have? Five? We only have five. I thought we had like six when I uh, left or whatever, and we just took out a new one. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Um. And it should get better with time, I suppose. Are we focused on admin? Because we really should be, <laughs> honestly. Oh, gosh, man. We are so behind on points. I'll, I'll give you that much. Uh, I think that one thing we want to do is do the draft ships for war. That could be good. I'm trying to think. Is there any reason we don't want to do this? Like, because eventually, here's the thing. Eventually, we're going to have to go to war with England. Probably sooner rather than later. Otherwise, we're not going to really have anywhere to expand to. Um, but, I don't know. Hmm. How are we even going to do that? That's a good question. We have at least one more war with Scotland, though, so that's something we can look forward to. Um, okay, Inverness. <clears throat> and also, if I, say to, if I say any of the Scottish names wrong, you'll have to forgive me for that as well, because that's, you know, a whole other uh, sort of, a whole other tongue that I'm not familiar with. Mmm, I have some coffee with me, even though it's like 5 o'clock in the afternoon. But, you know, this is the time when I get most tired, honestly. Between like 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock in the afternoon, I get so tired. And then, I, and then you know, before and after that, it's fine. Hmm. Oh, really? Really? England just paid off all our debts. What? <laughs> That's uh, a little strange. I'll just say that. That's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, so you may not agree with my decision that I just did there to just uh, immediately make that stuff core or uh, a state, but in my opinion, we just we need we need more uh, we need more everything. You know, we just need more. Oh fudge! Come on. Uh, gosh darn it. Uh, get rid of that one. Give him that one instead. There you go. You got to do some juggling. Um, we just need more more taxes, more manpower, more everything, and that'll help out with that. Uh, especially the force limit, actually. In fact, that's probably like the largest thing, honestly. Um, but yeah, what are we waiting on right now? I, I was looking right before the video started. Actually, we can almost get an alliance with France. Um, it may not look it, but I think we're pretty close. The main thing is that we have this terrible uh, diplomatic reputation. And part of that is because of our ruler, who is... How old is our ruler? He is uh, 43. And I hope he actually goes away soon, if you know what I mean. But anyways. Um, 
but but he's uh he's eventually going to oh we just lost our spy network but that's okay i think we have enough yes we do yes we want lothian we don't care about the other ones and so we'll, it's good that he got caught honestly it reminded me um hmm <clears throat> So with France, we definitely want to ally France, of course. But for now, we actually we might not want to ally them just yet. And the reason why I say this is because of the fact that England, um, you know, what if England goes to war with them? I don't want to be pulled in, especially because if England goes to war with them and gets beat up enough, we could declare on Desmond without incurring the wrath of England. And uh, that would be good. That would be good. Um, we should be getting... Oh, yeah, a good bit here now that we're friendly to England. And by friendly, it, it you know, shook me up for a while, but friendly just means above zero relations. It's kind of, you know, weird that that's all it is, but whatever. Uh, I, I don't care for that. No, I don't care for that at all. Corruption is, is terrible right now. That's good that we actually got that, um, all our debts paid off. We have, what is our, well, what's at our naval force limit? 13 out of 5. I don't know, man. I mean, I really do want to get those heavies, but... And we could just mothball them, but... I know that Arumba, um, he often says that going over your naval force limit is not bad at all. Uh, well, that it, at least that it's not super bad. And that, uh, army is a hard limit, whereas the naval limit is more of a suggestion. Wait, I don't want to go to speed 5. Um... I don't care about Desmond's opinion on me, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, either way, let's keep on the lookout for some uh, some better missions. I wonder if we could ally England. No, we can't because they're allied to Desmond, of course. But we're definitely gonna be uh, you know friends with them. That's the plan, at least. Meanwhile, our truce with you ends in eighty-one. It's so far away. Hmm. And it's kind of dumb because of the fact that they're literally going to be able to ally France before then. Because it only lasts for... The annul treaties only last for 10 years, whereas truces last for up to 15. That's something that a lot of people have noted. It's really dumb. Is that, like, annul treaties is useless if you have... Almost. Um, you just got to depend on luck if you, if you um, do it. Oh, finally, our king died. That's actually good. Like, it sounds bad, but it's good. We have a... We had a 1-2-2 two, two or something, or a 1-2-3 before... Now we have a 322, and we need a lot of admin power. Um, beyond that, oh my, it'll be just enough. Um, beyond, <laughs> we're behind on admin so far, and everything else, to be fair. But, um, but yeah, I think that the, uh, hmm, yeah, it, it's just kind of lame that that is that's how it works. It, Really should be a little bit smarter than that, I think. I think most people in the community agree about that as well. Okay, cool. We got some extra money from the burgers. But for a while here, we're not going to have much to do. We're just going to kind of hang out and stuff and talk about our plans and, and scheme out loud, as I am wont to do. Um, I was looking around. Sweden is still unloyal, or disloyal, rather. But they're starting to come back, which is actually good, I think. Um... I think I want to ally Denmark and use them against England, because that seems like a fairly smart idea. Uh, the only thing is that event, it might be fun to go and take over you know, Iceland and whatever, but uh, until then, I think we should plan on using Denmark as an ally against England because of the, the Danish and Norwegian and Swedish navies combined. Uh, they'll do quite a bit of good for us, especially if we can get France too. That's the main thing. Do we have any favors? Okay, so we're not losing anything by not being allied to you right now. We totally, uh... I think we totally can't ally you right now, though. Oh! Uh, <clears throat> 25? Yeah, I'll do that, absolutely. Uh, will you actually... You'll ally me now. Alright, so we can ally France now. Do we want to do that? I feel like we kind of do, but at the same time, we kind of don't. Here's the thing. When are they likely to declare war on England? That's a question. That's a good question. Will they call me into that war? Probably. Do I want to join that war? Probably not. So there's all the relevant, relevant, um, relevant is what I said, like an elephant, but relevant, relevant. No, there's all the relevant information though. So, yeah, 
I think we might want to get a administrative advisor just for a little bit. He's going to cost about half of our income, but I think that's okay because the admin point is worth half of our income when our income is two ducats, you know. Um, ugh, but the other thing is just the, the renaissance, of course. Um, where did we gain the 25? It was an air shirt, which is good because that's the closest one we have. Expecting beer in 1473. Yeah. Uh, Austria declared war on Venice Imperial Ban. Okay, okay. Venice, who are you at war with? Hmm. Hmm. Also, it's funny, I think we could technically put ourselves in the Empire if we were adjacent to it, because we have exactly one below the um, the limit of 100 or whatever. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So we definitely should rival Scotland, and we can't rival Desmond, which is kind of BS. Oh, they are, they, we just eclipsed them. Um, also, if we go to war with Scotland, I would like to humiliate them because again the points is a you know a big issue for us right now but huh it's also someone pointed out in the comments it's kind of bs that the french are allied to the ottomans that's like just that's just hilarious <laughs> aragon as well and genoa too that's like a pretty strong set of alliances but france and aragon often ally um i don't know hmm Okay. So September of 71, France and Scotland lose their truce, which means that they can ally in five years, I believe. It's a five-year truce, and then it's a ten-year null treaty, so that would make sense. Basically, this is going to mark, um, this marks like five years since when we got out of that war. Luckily, we don't have any rebels. That's one thing that we haven't had to worry about. Oh my god, 11 force limit? They told me this day would come, but I didn't believe them. I'm just messing. Um, that really sucks, but I think I'm going to do that. <clears throat> I'd much rather do that, honestly. Um, they have too much influence. Oh, we don't need to fight rebels. So, let's go over here and, like, take away that. Sorry. Uh, actually, we need to give them a little more. Oh, that's perfect. We get Oh, right in the ballpark. That's great. That's great. Um, hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> let's see here. Meanwhile, we have a truce for another 10 years. Jeez. Oh, you vassalized Desmond. Gosh darn it. I knew they would do that. I shouldn't be surprised. The good thing is, here's the good thing. Uh, when we eventually inevitably go to war with England, um, it's not going to be... If, if we play smart, it shouldn't be too bad because of the fact that we can literally do the same exact thing we did to... To Scotland which is hilarious like we what we can do is draw their army up hmm even if it means sacrificing like 10 mercenaries which we'll have to hire we could draw their army up to like the Western Isles and then trap them again but but the thing that that relies on is the fact of us having a larger Navy which we do not right now and we probably won't for quite some time yeah they have a large Navy 39 ships hmm Again, Denmark is an alright navy, not super great though, but uh, Sweden as well, decent size one, and Norway is somewhere. Norway as well. If, if you look at all those together, they are quite powerful, but, I don't know, you can't really look at them all together, because um, that's not how the AI acts, honestly. Alright, what sort of uh, general did we just get? 121? One? No, that's a ruler. 102, uh, one, that's pretty bad, honestly, compared to the one we already have, which is a uh, 4132, which is awesome. So yeah, again, I don't really think there's anything else for us to do, um, you know, I, I can't help that really, it's just, it's just part of the game. Uh, I think we're, basically our strategy right now is gonna be, wait till France declares war on England, um, actually, in fact, what we could do is, uh, hold on, I, I already have some claims on you. Oh my god, could we ally you? No, we almost could though. We could royal marry you, which is funny. But uh, let's start fabricating on England. I think we will go ahead and ally France now. And obviously England's not going to like this too much, huh? Uh, but yeah, I think what we do now is we... Hmm. I think we do a few things. First off, I'm going to go back on what I said earlier. And we're absolutely going to do this. We're going to draft the uh, ships for war. 
Um, I think we're also going to, in a second here, once we get the burgers a little more land, then we'll, uh, we'll probably, oh, well, perfect. Uh, we'll probably get their points from them. And beyond that, I think that's pretty much it. Well, what military tech are we? Five, so cannons are a ways away. Let's go with another uh, cavalry for now since we have a little bit of extra money. We want to get our money's worth for our, our manpower, especially if we're going to be at the cap anyways. I don't really care if France has a spy network in me. That does that matters literally zero. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, honestly, we could go to speed five right now probably, and it could be fine. We're going to be building our heavy ships. And that's about it. We gotta save some money up for the Renaissance. Oh, we have the Renaissance in Ayrshire, by the way. Um, oh, the Crimean Khanate when went with the Ottomans. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have the Renaissance here soon. And what about there? Uh, decently soon. Not super soon, though. But yeah, okay, cool. Um, yeah, Renaissance will be here probably... I don't know. Hmm... When is it supposed to be here? Let's see. 1477. 83. 77. Probably like 76, yeah. I think we're going to take one more military tech without this. Um, yeah. I think that's it. One more military tech and that's about it. Meanwhile, I think we're just going to go up to speed 5. Not really, again, not really a reason not. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, England? You're gonna, you're gonna freaking declare war on me right now, England? Uh, excuse me. Did I say that you could declare war on me, England? Oh, gosh darn it, this man, this sucks. All right, well, so cool. So maybe we haven't gotten, maybe we're not out of the woods just yet. Um, hmm, now this is... This is a, an interesting situation that I was hoping to not have to face just yet, huh? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, maybe get our armies together. Ugh, I should have been working on uh, on Denmark a little quicker, huh? Yeah, this is uh, this is a little bad. I should have definitely been working on it. Uh, although I'm not sure we would have been able to get them out. I mean, just yet anyways, but still. Do we have the ability to get a admiral ship? I do think we want to do that. Although, won't that put us over our limit? We could uh, get rid of this general, though. He kind of sucks. Um, okay. Wow! Uh, this took me by surprise. Like, completely by surprise. It's only going to be France and us, too. But, I mean, France is good, yeah, but... Oh, and they're going to give me a lot of money, which is great. But, at the same time... The point still stands that, um, navy-wise, we have, like, basically no chance. Well, I don't know. We might have a chance if the AI plays dumb, which they, I mean, like, that's what you expect, you know? They're gonna play dumb, guaranteed, but will they play dumb enough for me to actually have a chance at, at glory? Um, I'm gonna guess not, because look at that. Look at that. They're already... Oh, gosh darn it. They're already coming across. No, I can't let them do that. But I have no choice. Eight heavies. That's brutal. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this. I don't know, man. We might. Our campaign might just be killed here. Hmm. But let's try to remain optimistic. Um. Are they still moving to engage us? They are. Huh. <clears throat> let's, uh. We're gonna retreat as soon as possible. I'm pretty. Which should be pretty obvious, but. Yeah, they're probably gonna destroy most of our ships, anyways. I'm not sure that was a great idea. On the 11th? Yeah, we just lost, like, all of our navy. Gosh darn it. 
I was hoping we could at least take a couple out, but apparently it was not to be. Um, alright, well, cool. <laughs> this is lovely. That pisses me off a little bit. I don't know why they would declare war on me all of a sudden when we had like 100 relations. Now we had like 40 relations or something. Uh, you're gonna be on the 1st of March. And we are gonna get the heck out of there. I'll run around you in a circle all day if I have to, dog. I'm not gonna fight you though. I'm not that dumb. Hmm. So, like, their whole army is over here now. That's that's just what we're doing now, is just that their their whole army is over here. Gosh darn. Um, hold on. Can we escape, maybe? Let's see if we can uh, run this way. If I take a ship here... Oh, wait, 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 who's that? You're moving up here, that's not good. Mm, I would have liked some warning about this attack ahead of time, England. Oh no, now we're, we're, wait, no, we're not blockaded. How, how are you gonna reach us? Uh, how is that even possible? <coughs> oh, gosh darn it, man. I don't want to get stack wiped. This isn't how I go. Let me leave. Yeah, I think we're gonna, like, lose our whole army now. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, screw you, England. All right, cool. So, new plan. New plan. We're not going to do anything and just hope that France can siege enough to, you know, have a, a war score with them that'll uh, make us win. Hmm. I expect this will not be the case, though. I expect that we will die. However, there's, like, literally nothing we can do about it. So, here's what we do. We go on speed five, and we say, hey, France, hope you enjoy carrying me, because that's what you're about to have to do. Oh, gosh darn it, now my fleet's getting engaged again. I completely forgot to pay attention. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, France. I'm so glad you defended me. And they actually did this time, though. Well, there's the rest of my navy gone. Cool. It was going so well. It's going so well. You think I'm going to peace out with you, England? You're absolutely out of your gourd if you think I'm going to peace it out, out with you. I know you have me 100% occupied, basically. Do you think Do you think I care about that? The, the problem is, the problem is they're going to start hitting me with stab-hitting peace offers once they get my capital. Okay. There you go. 12 score though. We have minus 12, uh, or they have minus 12. Now is where we might actually have a chance though. The thing is, we're gonna have a whole bunch of rebels fight, but I don't care. England's gonna fight them all for us. You best believe it. Yeah, this is the thing. England now is gonna start transporting a ton of armies over to France. When they do so, the French will destroy them. Basically now, I'm just going to try to break them with rebels. This is what you do sometimes. Sometimes you just got to be desperate enough to try crazy stuff like this, you know? Just let the game run on speed 5, and it's it'll be no problem whatsoever. In fact, I mean, hold on. I think you have to control your provinces, otherwise that would lower the autonomy. Oh, yeah, they can't do that while you're at war. Because they know that you're going to do what I was going to try to do. Gain 5 unrest, do it. I need all the unrest I can get. Hmm. The only downside is the fact that they have the uh, ticking war score goal of Ligon. Um, so, that sucks. But, again, just we're just going to wait. What, do you, what are you going to do, England? What are you going to do, England? I'm not giving you any land. 
Aha! The clergy desire land. So that's a little bit of BS, I will admit. The fact that I can't actually control anything to do with my estates while I'm uh, while I'm at war, well, while I'm fully occupied. That's kind of BS. The AI could technically, if they wanted, uh... oh, okay, we just they just lost influence. So, all right, we're good. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not gonna do anything. I can't. I literally can't do anything now. Is there any way I could, like, get you anyone to intervene? No. Okay. Suggest offer. Are, you gotta be kidding me. You think that's what it's worth? 100% war score? Well, screw you then. I guess we're just gonna be at war forever. Yeah, I'll spare some coin for them. They're paying off more than that each month. Uh-oh, when did the timer go off? Oh, a while ago. Cool. Well, the timer went off apparently, and I have not been paying attention. We accept, we embrace the enlightenment at least. So that's good. But we're probably going to die. Either way, uh, I'll see you guys next episode. Um, we may restart the campaign if we die, but we'll do that like mid-episode. We aren't going to like end it in between episodes or anything. Either way, thanks for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. Come back next episode if you're enjoying what you're seeing. And, uh, you know, unfortunately we're off to a good start, but all things must come to an end, I suppose. We'll see, though. We might have a chance. Either way, I'll hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.